In the heart of the county of Surrey, set amongst some of the most beautiful and inspiring countryside in southern England, lies Kingswood, the home of Popjoy Mint. Over 300 years ago, the family began a tradition of metalworking, which has flourished down the Popjoy generations. Today, Millennia House, home of Europe's largest private mint, spreads majestically across 23 acres of rural farmland. This modern, purpose-built location sets Popjoy Mint at the heart of the UK's international communications and shipping gateways at Heathrow and Gatwick airports. The Popjoy family originally began as producers of handcrafted jewellery, ceremonial regalia, medals and objets d'art. In 1965, Derek Popjoy, founder of the Mint, bought his original press to strike his first commemorative medal in honour of Sir Winston Churchill. Upon its immediate success, Derek recognised a unique opportunity and led the family into a discerning niche market. They were to begin manufacturing circulating and commemorative coinage to celebrate notable anniversaries and national events worldwide. Since that first application, Popjoy Mint has never looked back. Its reputation for quality design and meticulous striking has led to over 40 countries commissioning their own legal tender coinage and medals. Connoisseurs appreciate the subtlety and fine value the Popjoy family invest in each original work they create. Popjoy Mint, having the reputation for the utmost quality, enjoys the privilege of supplying not only coinage, but also jewellery, regalia and contemporary objets d'art to many foreign governments and major industrial firms around the world. They've been the recipients of many awards, including the Queen's Award for Export, the International Quality Standard ISO 9001 and no less than 11 International Coin of the Year awards. Always in the forefront of product development, the Mint produced the first ever licensed coin featuring Peter Rabbit in 1993 and since that time has signed more than 30 different licenses with major film studios, museums and even charities. Promotional medals have been minted since the early 1970s the most famous being the ESSO tokens to celebrate the centenary of the FA Cup in 1972. The Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles tokens proved so popular that a second series was developed. Each year, Popjoy develops its own new concepts and initiatives for many widespread special occasions. Whether for a new commemorative coin or a country's currency requirements, the story begins with the concept for the artwork. Given an initial brief by governments for new currency or by private commissioners for corporate requirements, Popjoy's in-house artists create striking and original compositions which most reflect and portray their essential themes. If the coins bear the Queen's effigy, the designs will be sent to Buckingham Palace for Her Majesty's consent. Once approval has been received, legislation is then introduced to grant the coins their legal tender status. These elaborate designs are translated by skilled craftsmen into enlarged, finely sculpted plaster models, which allows them to capture the intricate detail of the original artwork. Creating such decoration in low relief is a very specialised art, and the sculptors spend much time refining the 3D model to the client's exact requirements. It's a process which demands much patience and concentration, for it's this which is the crucial step along the road from the initial drawings on paper and screen into the three-dimensional world of the solid coin. The plaster sculpture is carefully checked for any defects before a rubber mould is made from its impression. Next, a special resin is poured into the rubber mould and allowed to cure. The detail of the design is once again checked for any blemishes which may have occurred as the resin hardened. The resin imprint is mounted onto a die-cutting machine which reduces the size of the design down to the size of the intended coin. This is done by a stylus which follows the intricate contours of the resin's pattern. A fine carbide cutting tool cuts a negative image on the die hob at whatever size is needed. Once the die hob is cut, it's hardened and tempered in a high temperature furnace. High grade soft steel is used to make a positive master die from the metal die hob. It's at this stage that further adjustments can be made by an operator before this steel die too is hardened and made ready for use. The master die is used to create a number of negative working dies. Dies can wear out or break with continuous use, and so several copies have to be made. 
These working dies are fine-tuned to the required size and they too are then hardened, ready for production. Next, the dies are sanded and polished by highly skilled technicians in order to achieve the finest quality finish, free from any defects which could show up in the final minted coin. They're then chrome-plated to protect their surfaces before being issued to the coining department. If different values need to be added, these can be either photo-etched into the dies before they're hardened, or they can be engraved using a gravograph or by hand. The use of the gravograph is the preferred way for inscribing commemorative plaques and medals. The metal strip for coinage, which arrives in huge coils, is fed through the blanking machine. Here the blanks are punched out and rimmed to give them the characteristic raised edge. The coins to be used for currency are produced on a high-speed press at over 700 per minute. The blanks are fed into the press down a vibrating bowl and into a dial plate. By this process, the coins can be struck at high speed. The finished coins are continually checked for size, tolerance, diameter and surface quality before being passed on to the packing department to be counted and bagged ready for the bank or treasury department. Meanwhile, precious metals, gold and silver, which are used for the special proof sets of coins, are stored in top security vaults beneath the mint. All the blanks are polished to a high finish to ensure the very best quality before the blank is struck into a coin. These blanks are then placed in the cleaning machine so their surface can remain free of contamination. They're then passed on to the proof room, where each blank is inspected personally before being individually placed into the press. Popjoy Mint prides itself in producing proof coins which are struck four times to achieve the best frosted relief and mirror finish possible. It has the experience to be able to also produce these coins on the run, which protects them from even further handling contamination. The finish of each coin is again closely inspected after it's been struck. Once they've passed inspection, the coins are coloured if required and then placed on an automated capsulating machine or heat sealed. In addition, some of the coins may have precious stones mounted onto them. They are then placed in a box with a certificate of authenticity or packed in colour packs as appropriate. Ordering commemorative coins and other special items from Pop Joys couldn't be easier. Customers can make their purchases directly by phone, over the internet at the Popjoy Mint website, or by the numerous opportunities offered by mail order. Popjoy Mint is a truly international company with customers all over the globe, served through an office in the US, liaising in Asia, Japan, Europe and the States, and supported by dedicated administration and marketing teams. Customers, banks and marketing agencies are supplied by these universal links, promoting and supporting the family tradition and Popjoy name throughout today's world. The Mint has also been proud to be associated with a number of charities and has donated in excess of £250,000 from its profits in the past 10 years to a wide range of national and international causes. Popjoy Mint Innovation, qualification and excellence in its highly prized and collectible treasures for the 21st century and beyond. Popjoy. More than a name. A guarantee.